Welcome back everybody, the Mighty Brain here. Today I'm doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! box break. <clears throat> and the box that I am breaking, I have not one, not two, but three mystery power boxes. Each one containing three booster packs, four duelist packs, a legacy back, and a bonus item. And one 60 count player's choice sleeve pack. And it says right here, look for hot boxes containing four legacy packs. Seed in every one to six boxes. I've got three boxes, so I might have a good one. And I'm pretty sure the legacy packs are like the old packs, like the Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm really excited about this one. I haven't bought Yu Gi Oh cards in good god 12 years, so I don't even know what the hell they have anymore. I think the last time I even watched Yu-Gi-Oh! was during the GX series. So, let's see what's in box number one. Oh, that's cool. I got a giant... This card cannot be used in a duel, obviously. It's just a giant freaking blue eyes white dragon card. Like, that shit's the size of my hand. <laughs> I really hope that's not my mystery item, because that'd be pretty dumb. Uh, the sleeves. I think that is my mystery item. That's pretty ass, honestly. Duelist pack, duelist pack. Duelist pack. Duelist pack. I said four duelist packs. I got one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I do got four duelist packs. Four duelist packs. Three booster packs. And I'm pretty sure that the Invasion of Chaos is my legacy pack. Or it could be this Dragons of Legend pack. But, uh,. We're going to open up these duelist packs first because I don't even know what the hell a duelist pack is. And see what kind of Yu-Gi-Oh cards we get. Jack Knight. Hell yeah. I know what that is. Spellbinding Circle. Red Gadget. A Buster Blader. And Card of Sanctity. Alright. Duelist pack number two. Ooh, I almost knocked the camera down. I know I did that before. Whole thing did a flip. And this one we got Brain Control. King's Knight. Nice. King's Knight and Queen's Knight. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. Mirror Force and Marshmallow Mirror Force. That's what I'm talking about. That's my card right there. So now I got Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight. And King's Knight. And I actually have Diffusion for all of them in my book somewhere. So that's super exciting. Because now I can finally use that after 10 years. Swords of Revealing Light. Another Red Gadget. Brain Control. Green Gadget. And another Marshmallow. That's kind of ass. That giant Blue Eyes card is my bonus item. Like, really? Duelist pack number four, yellow gadget, Karibo, light force sword, another king's knight, magical hats, yes, that can actually go into, I can actually rebuild my uh, spellcaster deck, which you will find the video to the deck profile on that, in, this, in my profile, well on my channel, it is actually the first video that I put up, so I finally got the magical hats. Uh, we're gonna go with Raging Battle right now. I'm gonna open Invasion of Chaos last. Oh, dropped it. Come on. So difficult. Thank you. This has nine cards in it. We got Blackwing, Kalute the Moon Shadow, Level Returner, Emissary from Pandemonium, Phoenixian Seed. Morphotronic Remoten, 
Gigastone Omega, Reckon Power, Iron Core Immediate Disposal, and Trap Stun. Alright, Order of Chaos. Come on. Curavolt, Primordial Soup, Photon Trident, Sweet Corn, Gaga -ga Bolt. What the fuck is a Gaga -ga Bolt? <clears throat> XYZ Reflect. What the hell's the XYZ? Is that for the dragon? Or is it XYZ Monster? What the hell is an XYZ Monster? It's been a long time since I've played or even paid attention to Yu-Gi-Oh! Divine Dragon Apocalypse, Photon Circle, Armor Ninjutsu Art of Freemer. Uh, that was a little bit freezing. Dragon of Legends 2. This has five cards in it. Roulette Spider, Tyrant Wing, Aqua Story, Orashima, Aquarium Set, and Comic Hand. I got Tin World, hell yeah. Alright. And pretty sure this is the Legacy of Pack, Invasion of Chaos. Let's find out what year was this shit released. It should say. No, it don't. 2014. Okay, so this isn't that old. Torpedo Fish. Tower of Babel. Nah, it's definitely not that old. Chaos Greed. Lacunga. A Hero Emerges. Stumbling. Pinch Hopper. And Desk Kangaroo. Alright. So I don't know. I don't think anything good really came out of that. I'm just going to pop both of these other two boxes so I can get to the packs. I'm pretty sure the freaking bonus item in all these boxes is going to be some giant card. Which is a little disappointing. Limited Holiday Edition. Edition. Alright, now I'm gonna dump these two out. Yeah, apparently the bonus item in every box is a giant blue eyes card, which is kind of ass. Yep, that's definitely what it is. It's a giant blue eyes card in every single box. So just remember, if you do event, if you do end up deciding to buy one of these, that your bonus item is a giant blue eyes card that is fucking useless. Invasion of Chaos, Raging Battle, Duelist Pack, Duelist Pack, and. These sleeves are exactly the same in every box, so they can go off to the side. I'm just going to pull out all these Duelist Packs. Raging Battle. Duelist Pack. Duelist Pack. Legend. Dragon of Legends. Oh my goodness. Order of Chaos. Order of Chaos. Okay, so pretty much every single one of these boxes contains the same freaking thing. Alright, so we're going to start off with these Duelist Packs again. Because why the hell not? I don't even know what the hell a Legacy Pack is, because none of these really... Diffusion Wave Motion, Big Shield Gardener, Stronghold, The Moving Fortress, Dark Paladin. I actually have the Dark Paladin in my deck and a Dark Magician. Hey, check that out. 
Dark Magician and Dark Paladin, and I pulled the Buster Blader from the other pack. So I can actually make a whole nother fusion. Woo! I know I don't sound really excited, but that's because I already have all them. Uh, the Black Luster Ritual, Brain Control, Jack's Knight, King's Knight, and Exchange. On to the next Duelist pack. Karibo, another Black Luster Ritual, Catapult Turtle, King's Knight again, and another Dark Magician. I've already got like freaking seven or eight Dark Magicians. Like. <clears throat> Jack Knight, Spellbinding Circle, Red Gadget, Buster Blader, and Marshmallow. Okay, so these duelist packs kind of suck. They, like, mass-produce the good cards. Like I said, Buster Blader, Big Show Gardener, Queen's Knight, Polymerization, and Monster Reborn. It's a cool polymerization, though. Three more duelist packs. And I got two of every single other one. Brain Control, Stronghold of Moving Fortress, King's Knight, Yellow Gadget, and other magical hats. Two more duelist packs here. And then get on to the other ones. Red Gadget, Queen's Knight, Brain Control, Dark Magician Girl. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, Dark Magician Girl. Marshmallow. I also got like five Dark Magician Girls. Because I was running a Magician deck at one point. So I had a bunch of Magician cards. So none of these are really helpful to anything. Except for the Magical Hat. Swords of Revealing Light. Buster Blader. Big Shield Gardener. Queen's Knight. And the Black Cluster Soldier. Alright. On to these Dragons of Legend 2 packs. Reverse Reuse, Aquarium Lightning, Prediction Princess Astro Morrigan, Toon Rollback, and Legendary Knight Hermos. Okay, I never pulled a Hermos before, so I can't even use that card. Uh, Toon Briefcase, Aquarium Lightning. Double Magical Armbind, <clears throat> Prediction Princess Petalope, Paladin of Dark Dragon. Uh, you can ritual summon this card with Dark Dragon Ritual at the start of the damage step. If this card attacks a defense position monster, destroy that monster. You can tribute this card. Special summon one Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck, except Red Eyes Black Chick. Can only use this effect of Paladin of Dark Dragon once per turn. Well, these are first edition, so that's cool. It's a pretty cool picture, though. I like the holograph. Alright. <clears throat> On to Order of Chaos. Variable Form. Aqua Armor Ninja. Curry Vault. Insector Giga Weevil. Dark Flattop. The fuck's a synchro monster? Armor Ninjutsu Art of Freezing. Vampire Koala. That's fucking hilarious. Double Defender. Newman Eret te Testudo. Alright. Whatever floats your boat. I got some weird cards out nowadays, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. You can open up now. Thank you. Got Evil Sorterius, Insector Giga Weevil again, Searling Ceremony of Catan, 
Upstart Golden Ninja, Go 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 Giant, whatever, Danapon, and Zector Centipede, another Vampire Koala, and a Photon Crusher. Let's get into these Raging Battle Packs here. English Edition. <clears throat> Damn it. So difficult. But we are getting somewhere. Minoan Centaur, Gigastone Omega, Reckon Power, Iron Core Immediate Disposal, Dark Verger, Evil Thorn, Black Whirlwind. When a Black Wing monster is normal, summon to your side of the field. You can add one Black Man monster from your deck to your hand that has less attack than that monster. GB Hunter. Black Wing, Shara, the Blue Flame. Alright, three more packs, guys. Three more. Oh, these are from 5Ds. I don't even... Never even... I've heard of it, but I never actually watched it. Come on. Thank you. Supremacy Berry. Alien Dog. Psychic Path. Proof of Powerlessness, Iron Core of Koaki Miru, Tuner Capture, Miracle Locus, Junk Box, and Level Returner. Now into these Invasion of Chaos packs. Pack number one of two. Hey, that one opened up pretty easily. Big Koala, Soul Absorption, Fenrir, Invader of Darkness, while this card is face upon the field, your opponent cannot activate quick play spell cards. Pretty cool holograph. Mataza the Zapper, Cannonball, Spear Shellfish, Soul Tiger, Yellow Luster Shield. Increase the defense of all monsters inside the field by 300 points. And Gigantus. One more. We got Griffin's Feather Duster, Granadora, Neobug, Salvage, Getsu Fuma, Gale Lizard, Smashing Ground, Boganian, and Stealth Bird. And that is it for the three Mystery Power Boxes, Holiday Edition, Yu-Gi-Oh! Cards. Thank you for sitting through with me, and if you liked what you saw... Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Mighty Brain is signing off. Peace out.